My special guest is Dr. Jeffrey Fannin, and he is a neuroscientist. He does brain mapping. Um, and he'll explain what that is, uh, but once he identifies in the brain what's going on, he has programs that can help. So he works with people, with people, with children and adults, I should say, with um, ADHD, autism, um, neurological issues, anything that somebody mindset, right, that wants to change, he can work with them. And he was just introduced to our products, Nerf, um, NRF1 activator, NRF2 activator, and Axio, and started applying it to his patients and having some really great results. Um, Dr. Dr. Fannin is also published. He has a peer-reviewed study coming out. So I can't wait to, when that is published on uh, PubMed.gov so we can all read it. Um, extensive background um, yeah, that he has, and um, he's an author, um, and he's worked with, um, um, you know, a lot of um, um, Dr. Joe Dispenza with, you know, meditation and the mindset. So a lot of, um, a lot of huge background that he has. And we are really blessed that he's been exposed to our um, products um, and saw the benefit um, for them. So thank you for joining me tonight, Dr. Fannin. And I know we've got some great information that you want to share, but um, I just like you know when you were first you know I bet lots of people bring lots of stuff to you right yeah that happens over the 23 years that I've been doing this uh, I don't think a month has gone by where somebody hasn't come by and say can you promote this or use this in your practice and there's always you know no 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 I'm, I don't want anything to do with that until I actually you know uh, started looking at the research and um, when I saw that and saw what Dr. McCord had put out there, I went, this guy is speaking my language. I, I understand what he's talking about. And so the science got you, right? Yeah, the science got me. So, so this, I, I am a science geek, I admit it. Yeah, so we can say that we have real science behind our products, right? Very solid science behind it. Fantastic. I love that when, you know, you get someone at your caliber and your you know, degree of knowledge and scientific background to really see what we're talking about. This is truly a medical breakthrough, just like Washington Un State University states that this is the biggest, you know, therapeutic, preventative and therapeutic breakthrough in the history of medicine, um, this NRF2 activation. So I want you, so you have, you know, been playing around with our products, got it into some of your patients. So tell us what your seeing and what you're, you know, you're experiencing so far. All right. Yeah. Uh, um, you want me to just tell you, you want me to show you? Show me. Yeah. Share your yeah, screen. So, show us. So I need to uh, do a little screen share here. Hang on just one second. All right. So what we're looking at here is just kind of a cover slide. We're looking at uh, a clinical sample of one of my ADD cases. This is a 15-year-old male who's been diagnosed with inattentive uh, attention deficit disorder, or what we call ADD. Uh, the first brain map was taken after about 18 sessions of doing neurofeedback with me. And then we introduced him to uh, NRF1, NRF2, and Axio. And uh, he took this regimen for about 12 days uh, before we did a second brain map. So, um, get here to <clears throat> let me for those of you who aren't aware of what a brain map is let me give you just a real short course i promise i won't get deep in statistics or anything like that here so we see this legend down here where it goes from dark blue light blue green yellow orange and red these are based on standard deviations how far away from normal is something so there's over four five thousand people in the normative database and so we can look at that and by using what's called a Gaussian distribution or a bell curve, if you will, we can see where the standard deviations are. So don't, don't worry about that. That's kind of a, a mathematical thing. When we see green in the brain maps or taking the squiggly lines and converting them to what we know as a quantitative EEG, a Q EEG, the green means it's normal EEG activity. Uh, if it's yellow or orange, we know that it's two standard deviations above normal. If it's red, 
we know that it's three standard deviations above normal. Now the other side of the scale, we have two standard deviations below normal, which is light blue, and dark blue is three standard deviations below normal. Now a lot of people will equate that with good and bad, but that's not necessarily the case. It, it really depends on the frequencies and so forth. So here is our guy uh, after 18 sessions of neurofeedback, and you don't have to be a neuroscientist to begin to interpret this. You look at the red, and we know that that's three standard deviations uh, above normal. This is his thinking activity, his beta activity. Uh, and after taking this for 12 days, we did another brain map, and all of the green, if you remember the, uh, the Gaussian distribution, the green means it's normal EEG. So I was pretty astounded. In 23 years of doing this, I had never, ever seen this. And, uh, and so it was just amazing to me. This color up here, you may be wondering about that, but that's his ADD up there, okay? Uh, the, one of the key components to this is I reasoned it out, and I'll tell you here in just a second. Uh, when we look at coherence, how the body processes energy and information. And so we look at his coherence before and all the red and blue, uh, that's not good, basically. I won't take the time to explain what that actually means, but it's not good. So after he'd been on the uh, NERF-1, NERF-2, and Axio for 12 days, we see this. So when there are very few lines or no lines at all, it is comparing his demographics, male, female, left, right hand, age, to uh, the normative database, saying that this is in the normal range. Now, when I looked at this, I was truly, truly amazed because uh, when, I, when I started thinking, how is this possible? I had to go to a quantum physics view of this. And, and that means that we have 600 million billion cells in our body. And how that um, uh, functions, or it needs to be a dynamic organ. So the cells that we have has to be dynamically engaged in coherence is a very important part of that. So this it began to explain to me, and I'll just kind of keep it fairly shallow here, and that is that when I saw all of this, it told me that the coherence was taking place, the changes were taking place at a cellular molecular level uh, based on quantum physics and how our cells and our organs function. So that's all we need to know now. And you can see a very dramatic difference from what it was to 12 days later how is that physically possible? Only if there is a synergistic effect that's taking place between the cells in the body. So the NRF1, the NRF2, and the Axio have helped to open up all of the centers and make, bring them into the normal range. So they're functioning in that normal range. All right, so let's look at his brain map side by side. This is the before, this is the after. And again, you don't have to be a neuroscientist to figure this out. You can see that there is a dramatic change that happened there. So this is his uh, beta activity, his thinking activity in the normal range. So wow. all of those things are really in incredible. And um, all I can say is I'm astounded by this. You know, and, and I use all of the products ever since I got on them, and I think they are just fantastic. I feel great. You know, and uh, when I have a lot of work to do and I'm processing brain maps and so forth, I'll drink some of my Axio uh, just so that it opens up. Uh, and I feel that. I can't find any words to say what it feels like, but it feels like your brain goes from just a normal size to the energy and information about five times greater. So it's pulling in all of this energy and information from the morphogenetic field. And I won't take time to explain what that is, but you can look it up. <laughs> yeah. So basically, you're saying that, you know, by in 12 days, giving, you know, your patient the NRF2 activator, the NRF1 activator, and the Axio, that literally the cells have started to repair themselves enough in 12 days. Well, I think it's hard to, to explain it as the, the cells are repairing themselves. I think, yes, that is the answer. But again, this is an N of one. We have one person here uh, that, that we're dealing with. But uh, I think it demonstrates that something very dramatic is happening here. 
and uh, something that is out of the ordinary. And fortunately, uh, we have we live in a day and age when we have equipment that we can measure things like this. Right. So, <clears throat> it was uh, really quite astounding that that we we got these kind of measures. Yeah. So for me, it's exciting because you know I've been um, you know with this company now for almost nine years and. Uh, you know, I've had hundreds and hundreds of, you know, children and adults with, you know, suffering with ADD and they've had these great results. So I know that our products have helped them, you know, the focus, concentration, you know, just feels like, you know, I know when I started it, it felt like a, a fog had lifted from my brain. I just thought, okay, I'm getting older, you know, you get older and you're just not as crisp when you're young, right? You can multitask and your brain just go goes. And I remember when I got on the product within the first month, it was like this fog had lifted and I could just process so much, you know, so fast, like when I was younger. Um, but now to have the evidence of brain mapping kind of showing from the hundreds and hundreds of people that, you know, have been on this product for this particular thing, you know, and had good results to see this is, um, it, it's, you know, like the icing on the cake now. Because yeah, we, I, think so. I think this is really tremendous. Yeah, we knew it was helping, but now we can look at your brain map and, you know, that doesn't lie. You didn't make it up. You did the same way you did the test the first time, you know, 12 days later, and here's the results. And, and I know you're going to get more okay. patients on it and more testing we're going to see. So it's really exciting to see this happening. Yeah, you can't lie to an EEG. It, it's going to record what it's going to record. You can't alter it. It is what it is, you know, and I think that's the great part about it because uh, you're not altering the data in any way, shape, or form. You can't. So So did this child at all, did anything, a physical change? So did... Oh, yeah, let's talk about that for just a second. You know, the uh, we're getting reports back from the school, and the school didn't know that we were doing this. And so uh, there, uh, there was a report from the teacher and his mom, you know, sent this report to me saying, what a change, you know, because they were getting two and three calls a day, you know, that he's acting out, he's using inappropriate language, he didn't bring in his homework, all the typical stuff that we'll see with ADD and ADHD. And uh, then all of a sudden she's saying, you know, what a turnaround, you know, he's now uh, bringing his homework in, he's uh, accomplishing what he needs to, he's he's talking appropriately. Now, he's 15, so there are going to be some behavioral macho issues that come up, but um, it's not like, hey, I'm going to do this. He always uh, will say, hey, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. So his his behavior is catching up. So our behavior is based on our thoughts, and our thoughts uh, turn those into subconscious belief patterns, and that would that what guides our behaviors. So he's going really through this metamorphosis as anybody would, you know, and having to get rid of the old and make room for the new. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is so impressive. I mean, I love hearing that. You know, the teachers are noticing because you know. So not only on the on the brain map are we seeing that this has helped them, but in real life. His um, whole, you know, attitude and demeanor, and the teachers have noticed it without knowing what behind the scenes. He's well, even his parents, yeah, even his parents are saying the same thing. So, we, we not only do we have the empirical evidence of the brain map, but we have the anecdotal evidence from people around him. Yeah, fantastic! Wow, this is great. Well, thank you, thank you so much for um, you know sharing this with us, and uh, we look forward to. Um, as you explore more and um, what we begin to see, um, you know, that what this can help with. And so, yeah, this is um, so exciting to have the, um, you know, real results in front of you of how it can help. So thank you so much. Anything else you want to add before we end here? No, it's just been a real pleasure, Maria. And I thank you for having me on today to talk about this. And um, yeah, I, I think we got a hold of something that's more than fantastic. It is a medical breakthrough, just pure and simple. Explain it some other way and maybe I'll believe it, but <laughs> seeing is believing here. Yeah, and all natural, which is the beautiful thing. No side effects, just 
um, you know, pure extract from herbs. So whole foods, it's like eating a salad. If you can eat a salad, you can take these products. Um, they're all natural, organic, wildcrafted, non-GMO. Um, so good for our body. So um, yeah, I think we're pretty exciting what we have our hands on and what we're sharing with the world. And the biggest blessing is that, you know, we're helping people where this is another tool. This does not let me, I should make this disclaimer, right? This is not cure, treat, or prevent any disease. That's not what we're saying. You're giving your body the right nutrition, and it's your body that's healing itself. That's the science of nutrigenomics, which this is what this is, nutrigenomics. Nutrition for your genes. So give your body the right nutrition, and your body can correct gene expression. Your body can heal on a cellular level. And that's what these products do. It's allowing the body to heal itself and function the way it's supposed to function. So thank you for joining me tonight. And um, it's been a pleasure. And I can't wait to see what you, uh, your next results are that we can share with the, continue to share with the world. So thank you so much. Absolutely. <laughs>